Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19, I'm Andy, and this is the last play on that called Buying a Real Farm Experiment. Uh, so I'm playing this on Drums for the Map by Pfeiffer, and the uh, link is in the description. You do need to register, but it's there, so a uh, Swedish map. Um, because I bought a Swedish farm. So. so here we are at the farm. I, I don't own a, a Golf GT, a Golf, I own a Kia, but I couldn't find a Kia, so this is probably the best equivalent. Um, this is the stuff we set up last time. I was experimenting with a horse, turning this into a horse stable, but it was too much money, so we decided not to do that. This is the Deutsch Svar uh, combine we bought, the Harness Sprayer, Salke Spreader, the Vedestad Cedar. Over here we have a Cultivator. Coon, I think. I think this is Coon Plow. Over there's the head of the um, harvester. Here's our trailer. Uh, we also rented this one. We leased it, so we're paying lease on that one. And and we have all the stuff over there on the tractor too, which I'm going to show you shortly. But what I did basically yesterday for about ten hours was that I plowed this field, plowed that field. I cultivated also. Uh, I plowed a field down over the, on the other side uh, to make it bigger. And I also plowed this field down here, which I need to cultivate. So I'm going to do that later. Um, what else? We, I realized pretty fast that we need some sort of income <laughs> besides the farming part. So in, in this, this scenario, I'm actually continuing playing I'm actually working my job. I'm also keeping bees. So these are beehives. Uh, I link is in the description as with everything. Um, I'm just move out of the sound. So um, I set these up so they actually do give the amount of money you would in real life. So uh, so one of these actually equates to two real beehives because. The total income, if you spread it out on an hourly basis in this game, it's about half a euro. Um, a real beehive would give about 251 euros of income per year, um, which it has your is half a euro in this settings on seasons. Uh, so I actually changed this so. Uh, one of these is equivalent to two. Uh, also, the cost of one of these is equivalent to two of real ones. So, so we basically have four of these. It will take a year to be profitable, and after that, it will yield pretty much one, the cost of one of these per year. So, well actually, one they will they will will take a year to get profitable, and then it'll give an income. Um, so as I said, I'm keeping my, basically keeping my uh, regular job. So this is going to be done weekends, mostly, or, or evenings, if the, or whatever. Um, and the money I can save up from my real job, I'll go, will go into the farm. At least the first year, I'm hoping to be profitable after that, but we'll see. Uh, it does take quite some time to do these things. Uh, we're in quite a lot of forest, so if you check the map, we owned this area and this area, and then there's some stuff around here. So, but these are the big ones. So, um, I did lease. I bought this drum barrel thing. Wait, um, I did lease one of these. Um, the typhoon is kind of cool. I'm gonna show you how it works just shortly. Um, we also we're trying to be get things to work over time. So I did build one of these over here. I'm gonna build one of those on that other side. So we have one of these, so we can actually go and plant trees. Thing. 
don't know how long they would taken the game to mature, probably quite some time. But the idea is to keep it sustainable. Sustainable is the word I'm looking for, by the way. <laughs> uh, so, the pricing or what you get for these trees in the game is highly exaggerated, from what I can tell or calculate. So, what I'm going to do is I'll when I harvest the tree, I'll have an Excel document, which I showed you last time. I actually put in yeah, I left three pieces. Um, where I actually um, will put in the trees, and then I'll deduct the money. It will put extra in here. It will put a lot of extra money in here. the easiest place to plant trees actually <sighs> can't run I can't run so anyway all the idea is to keep planting trees as I harvest them so okay we Regrowth. I can show you this area down here, by the way. So I have a lot of land on this side of the hill. Um, this area used to be some sort of construction yard, but I I plowed that, so I expanded that field number eleven uh, over here, so we get bigger one. I also, the one over there, I cultivated. We have one, two, I think about three or four fields to cultivate, so we have some. Cul some fields left to cultivate. It will take some time, but um, okay, so we'll just move over to the tractor. I'm going to show you the typhoon. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a cool thing. Uh, so I tried just driving out into. Um, into the forest with um, uh, with um, the trailer which I released, uh, but it was didn't like. I don't think it worked too well, so I decided to see if I can find some good trees. That was a good tree. Get it out. So, see, I want it to fall, want to fall that way, which is weird because then I, because they usually just keep on standing, so. Uh, if I cut it this way, which would seem odd, and uh, if it doesn't fall at once, sometimes it does fall at once, rarely, uh, then I just go here. Have, oh, I think I have to turn it on, by the way. So it's on. Which was it? This one. So you go first, press B, get a thing there. Let's move out of the way a little bit. So, and you press Shift Z. Pull it. Falls. Branch it. The branching was easier before.
can't take branch if I do I don't know. It's not this easy. So we have a long tree there. Um, so what I do usually is try to get it, pull it out of here. So I'll just drive. It's just still some branches on it. Seems like if you go back and forth like that, it's easier. Uh, so this is a, quite a big tree, and if I calculate it correctly from the official stats for trees, this would be like a. This would be a. About a one cubic meter three. Okay, so we cut it there, we'll put that on there. It's not that easy to see where it was. Place that there. And then it's there. these up and try to sell them. So as I said, it will, it will give us a big nice, big nice income in the game, but that's not very realistic. So what I do is I, I basically just uh, deduct what they would actually be worth, which is not a lot. Just saying, it's not a lot. At least not in Sweden. I'm using Swedish price because we're in, uh, we're here in Sweden. So that's what you would use. tricky part if any one of you have um, done this which I'm guessing a lot of you have tried um, doing this oh just cut across the field here uh, this is an interesting tool to use when you're trying to load things up it's a nice tool but it's interesting so what I've done is I had I've set it up so I use have like an Xbox controller. I tried using it's easy with joysticks, so I had 
tried with joysticks, but there is okay. Oh, sorry, E. Need to fold these arms out. I don't know why they're very stable. So, um, it's better with joysticks, but I can't get the joystick to work, so I have this Xbox controller, which I set up. Very good at this, which you'll tell. I'm taking too many of these. That's a really long one, actually. Actually, not that not gonna work. We're gonna have to cut that off. This is just this one is just too long. There is a measuring tool which you can use, but the issue with that is that I can't get it to work. Okay, so we'll see if we manage to get this in here. As I said, I'm not That's good at this. I'll try. Oh, too much. Like so, see if I can open this and then let them down easily. Okay, so got that one up. Grab this lonely one here. <laughs> this is probably got not gonna do this entire episode of this because this is gonna take about an episode or so to do. It's easy with the joystick, I must say. Uh, this is uh, actually kind of hard. Especially when it comes to... As I said, I'm not very good at I'm concentrating, that's why <laughs> quite also. With the joystick, this actually goes much better. Much easier. But I can't get the joysticks to work. Fortunately, because the joysticks are so much easier, as I said, to do this with. Actually, I'm way I need to be in the middle of this. Maybe somewhere. And it's middle of, not the 
log in the middle of the weight of the log, which makes it a little bit more complicated. Because this is a bit back heavy. In, in, in intervals. <laughs> in real life this would be much easier, I would just do it with the joysticks and that would be quite an easy task. But here it's not that easy. We get bigger, better this. So I sort of like two loads of these, and it's it's a lot of work. I think that's as good as we can get it. I need to move this closer, by the way. way off. See the problem? Not very good at this. So in real life you would probably hire someone to do this harvesting thing. Well, maybe small fa smaller farms, but definitely bigger would just hire someone to do both the... Uh, uh, that's too close. Uh, both the cutting and transporting. People are really good at this in Farming Simulator, are really good at it. I suck. Basically, I am not very good at this. As you can probably tell. So again, if you do this with mouse on the keyboard, mouse and keyboard, then you know that this is not very easy. That's easy. So you can see it's not that. Oh, sorry, one button. Maybe I just switched buttons around.
I don't know how this is gonna work out. The problem is they're not very in a good way. <laughs> they're really, really fun. If I had a bigger one, better one of these, we could probably. Get this sorted out. Thing is, I'm not very good at it. And then what I want to do is, I want to. I can't reach that far. I think no. No, it's too jiggly. See the issue here? Maybe I should just pay someone to get it. <laughs> it's fun. No, <laughs> it was not fun. Uh, maybe a little fun. Whenever you do. Oh, this is Michael come loose actually. Yes, of course it did. Oh. As I said, this is not <laughs> very easy. made them a bit too long also. As you say, I suck at this. I'm gonna go sell this just to I'm gonna sort of sell it just so I have done done that. This is not how you would do it, I know. And I really suck at this. Get better. Let's move along. Let's see. Uh, well, <laughs> that's bad. It's really bad. Sorry. Probably dropping somewhere. Yeah, like one of those things that keep... <sighs> oh, 
Mali ama belli. Sorry. That's why one way of solving it. Oh, it's heavy also. I don't have the most powerful tractor and driving it into field was probably stupid. So as it's a bit fiddly. Do this. Should probably pay someone just to get it and sell it. Because I think the price I'm using is actually with with it being sold. So I probably do I do the cutting and then it gets fetched by a truck, a big truck, and then delivered and that's the price you get. Which is but for in, in part of Sweden where I live it's about four hundred and sixty for a wood that's used for um planks, basically. You could probably use a type and pull everything out of the forest and then get hire someone to get it and deliver it to the mill. So I'm going to show you here. Yeah, I have 1480, which is the price I have. I'm going to make a note of that. The amount of money I actually own, have cash I have in the account. And this will rise a lot here when I sell this, but it's not realistic, so... Um, so I'm not using this. For, um, the real numbers mod doesn't do anything with lumber. So even though it's, this is set to hard mode, it still doesn't really change anything. So <laughs> if, if we got this amount of money for lumber that would be great. Look at the price here. So 9,000 euros. If you got that sort of pricing, uh, amount of money for lumber that would be awesome. You do get a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But for uh, a couple of trees like this you don't get that much money in real life. Um, so well this might be three trees or something so about uh, 32 times 3 about 120, 130 euros or something, maybe? It's still fair enough, a uh, fair amount, but it's not a lot. Not compared to F FS19, that is. Um, so I did do something. I took out a small loan, and I, a realistic loan, that is. Uh, and I did buy a Green Star 6000, which I put on the top of here because it was so boring going on the farm. And we have quite a few fields, so I'm guessing uh, um, the GPS is probably worth money. I'm thinking in real life you probably wouldn't get a GPS. But with such a narrow cultivator, uh, it gets extremely boring after a while. Uh, what else? I want to show you something else on this. Let's play. We talked about the bees. We talked about everything. The forestry. We planted forest. New, new lumber and that sort of stuff. Well, I guess that's about it. Right. Yeah, that's about it. We're gonna stop there. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you liked this episode, please hit like button, leave a comment or share. If you like this channel, please subscribe. And then see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.